Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. Welcome back to the channel, guys, once again. Thank you very much for stopping by and hanging out with me once again here. But we do have a 2v2 siege here on the settlement of Medlam. Town center for Medlam is right there. Let's take a look at the armies. We'll take a look at the attackers first. We have a Seleucid here, some of his army. Uh, Seleucid being commanded by Invisible. It's kind of funny, actually. And we can see six units of Thorax Swordsmen there. And then we have an Athens here being commanded by Wolf of Troy. And he has seven Thorax Swordsmen, two Militia Hoplites, two Light Hoplites, one Picked Hoplite. General is a Hippias Lancer, three Cretan Archers, one Regular Slinger, and a Giant Ballista. And we got the General being fired at. Nabatea shooting at his General. Is that Nabatea shooting at his General? It's gotta be. Yep, Nabatea. Oh, no, he's firing here now. Now he's shooting at the arches. All right, all right. Uh, then we're getting into the defenders first. I guess we'll take a look at Nabatea being commanded by the Gladia. Or the Gladia? I think it's Glad. I, I don't know. His name's on the screen. Uh, he has 10 units of the Nabatean Axe Warriors, three Rakem Palace Guard, one of those being the General, and four units of the Heavy Archers. And then his ally, the powerful Bowiei, being commanded by Grey Buford. And he has seven sword followers, four Celtic warriors, one spear warrior, one naked warrior, one levy freeman, general is an O-sworn, three Celtic bowmen, and one Celtic slinger. So there you go. Army comps out of the way. Nabatea's artillery is gone. Good job there, Athens. But that is going to be the end of the introduction, so let's get ready for the beginning of the battle, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy. Remember, hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, subscribe to the channel. But let's dive on in. All right, starting off in the settlement here, we have the Thorax Swordsman of Seleucid landing down, currently taking on one unit of these sword followers, but Bowiei, not leaving his men alone, does have a unit of his spear warriors right there. Nabatea actually has some of their axe warriors sitting right here as well. I could have sworn that you could charge through that. I'm pretty sure you could throw javelins through it, though. Maybe not. I could have sworn you did. I haven't fought on this settlement in a long time, so I don't rightly remember every in and out of every single settlement. Oh, we got Archer Fire. Celtic Bowman firing away. Where's that Javelins? There might have been some Javelins. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Celtic Bowman have a kill. Okay. Uh, Athens now starting to make his way forward, so Seleucid just going in. Seleucid not caring a whole lot. He's just going, yeah, he's going in again. Thorax Swordsman going around the corner, going to get into this Spear Warrior unit. I like what Bowie I did right here. Turning this Sword Follower to the side. He's allowing his archers to get some good shots on the Thorax, but they are not winning. The Sword Follower is currently losing the fight. He's going to pull them away. Maybe try and get a charge into them again. Let, the, let that charge bonus do some damage. 27 charge bonus. Would definitely recommend trying to get a charge off there. Uh, we have another unit of Sword Followers have moved forward. That first Thorax Swordsman losing decisively. They were losing decisively. So the uh, the uh, Spear Warriors did a fantastic job. Really fantastic job there holding them up. We have a lot of kills by archers? Not really. Javelins? Two kills there. Maybe the Archer Tower really did that much damage because one of those Thorax is really messed up. But some of these units over here don't have that many kills. Six, three, twelve, six... And 36, but this sword follower has been up here on the front this whole time. Artillery still pouring into the settlement. Got Athens still moving up. Okay, artillery is still firing away. He's got 53 kills so far. Not too bad at all. Think he just made a breach. He did. Very interesting placement for a breach here as well. Actually, not a bad place. He'd be able to get right in and start neutralizing that tower. Hopefully, if he moves in fast enough, he'll be able to get in there and start neutralizing that tower. That could definitely be very, very helpful in the attacker's approach here. But Thorax Swordsman there for Seleucid. It looked like they were trying to string down the wall, maybe wall walk, to get down into the corner there. Maybe they were going to neutralize the tower. More bombing shots coming in there, though. Oh, no, fire, fire out. Turn off fire arrows. I see it. Yeah, yeah, turn it off. Turn it off. No point. No point. It's just going to take you longer to reload. It's going to take you longer to reload. I mean, it does some morale damage to them, but it's so early in the fight, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You want to use fire arrows? Shoot at the artillery like you did over there. That's about it. That's really about it. This early on in the fight, there's no point. So Athens, yeah, definitely turn the fire arrows back off. Definitely turn those back off. 
Uh, okay, I was going to say, where's the rest of the Seleucid force? All right, so we got a Median Cavalry. We have a Gima Cavalry General coming out. Thoreos Spears, some more Thorax, another unit of a Gima. Uh, oh, sorry, not a Gima, Thoreos. Sorry, Thoreos, Thoreos, Thoreos Spears coming out. Some more Thorax Swordsmen, another unit of Thorax Swordsmen. So he's starting to bring his army out, but this army, this part of his army over here is done. They're trashed. These two units of Thorax getting beaten down. 16 kills for that unit, 34 there. This unit here with 45. They still have 66 men in the unit. 41, 79. This, still, this unit has 79 men in it, but they're not going to be around. Yeah, they just got dropped. Again, wavering, routing, gone. This is why, it's, guys, it's so important to bring your ranged up. So important to bring your ranged units in. And with the attacking factions that we have here, I mean, Celtic Bowmen are... They're archers, but their range is only 125. Oh, is this all Syrians? Tell me this is all Syrians. Oh my god, it is. So four Syrians and three Cretans. Yeah, if the attackers, if Seleucid had brought his archers up earlier, I feel like maybe they'd be in a little bit better of a spot. I mean, they're not in a terrible spot just yet. Just hopefully, hopefully Seleucid doesn't land anything else here and comes up this way because there's just so much of the defenders right there. This is an opportunity. The attacker's breaking through here. That's another opportunity. We have the Rakem Palace Guard General making his way over here. Uh, militia Hoplites through the gap first. Probably not a bad idea. Let them take the Javelins first. I would definitely be landing towers, though. Definitely get some of these towers landed here. Maybe bring the archers around over here or over to here so they can get some better volleys, better angled volleys into the defending units. They could definitely be firing right here. Like these, these Cretans, if they moved up over here, they'd be able to fire this way, and the Syrians here would be able to fire this way. A little bit of cross action, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, they'd probably be decimating these Axe Warriors on the front. Axe Warriors only uh, 65 armor, 45 melee defense. Definitely needs more infantry in here now. I mean, these guys are still holding up for now, but they're not looking too good. Yeah, attack the rear penalty, currently losing combat, currently losing combat. Yeah, it's not looking good. Sword followers charging in again with that 27 charge bonus. That's going to be a big hit. That is going to be a big hit. Kind of surprised. I haven't seen any of the Nabataean Axe Warriors use their frenzy charge either. They should definitely be cycling in and out. Like, one of the things that Nabatea could definitely be doing right now is he could, he could bring his general up here. His general is very strong. Very, very strong general there. He could bring the general up, let them hold there for a little bit, pull these Axe Warriors out, and then Frenzy charge them and bring them right back in and pull the general out because neither one of them, yeah, fresh, active. So I mean, he could pull this one out and let him just rest since the sword followers just got in there. But maybe I'm going too far into detail here. Maybe, maybe I just am. But all right, over here, we got two Syrian archers starting to fire into the settlement. So Seleucid did come back over here, but the defenders are actually being lax now. Maybe because the archers are there, that sword follower is getting dropped. That sword follower is definitely getting killed off pretty quick. Now we got the Thorax making their way forward. A little bit of a javelin volley into those sword followers, taking more archer fire. Hopefully these archers stop firing once their infantry gets involved. They did capture that tower. That's huge. Uh, Athens over here. Oh, he's kind of like dropping them off one at a time. Yeah, these... One of these two towers probably should have come down this way a little bit further. Get a little bit of that action going on. But wait a second. He's got something breaking in here. He's got some light hoplites coming in. Thorax swordsman just getting off the towers. There's some heavy archers. Nebatean heavy archers. Celtic bowmen. Sword followers charging in again. Very nice. I mean, he could get the Axe Warriors out. Let the sword followers charge in there. And bring the bring the Axe Warriors out. Use them again. Frenzy charge. Charge them in. They're still fresh. This side over here is looking pretty worse for wear now. Yeah, I don't really think... Yeah, Cre the Cretans archers are not really doing very much. 59 kills for that unit. This unit here was zero kills. Uh... 
Where's the rest of his archers? There's an archer there. Oh, that's a slinger. There's that archer. They took a lot of damage. Syrian archers coming inside now. Eight kills for that unit. This unit here with 15. So there is a lot of ammunition left. Bowie Eyes trying to hold this corner. Celtic warriors charging in. Sword follower is still there. I mean, this thorax... This thorax could probably come around over here. Maybe get some javelin volleys into the flank of that spear warrior. Or maybe the archers... Syrian archers could start firing there. But oh no, we got a problem. Nabataean heavy archers have moved in. They're going to reinforce the Celtic bowmen there. And he's basically like a 3v2. Well, not basically. He is in a 3v2. Two heavy archers of Nabatea and a Celtic bowman. Oh my god, the Syrians are getting dropped. Down to 57 with only 12 kills. This unit over here still full. 120 men. I'm not sure what they're firing at. They did just use their precision shot. But they're not firing. It says that they're not firing. So I'm not sure what they're supposed to be firing at. But they are definitely not shooting at all. Alright, so here we go. Hold on a second. Gate tower's being neutralized now. Now, I thought I saw... I did. I saw a ram. I wonder why Athens didn't bring the ram up. If he was going to be able to neutralize these gates, he could break the gate down and get inside. See, right over here, Nabatea is starting to fall apart a little bit. A little bit. He's got another axe warrior that just showed up. 151 men, but this one's going to break probably soon. It's at least going to waver and run away. Maybe that's why he's shifting another axe warrior over here. I see a lot of people using Ab Nabatea and Axe Warriors, and I'm not saying they're bad, but I feel like they can hold pretty well, but the the, ar the Armored Desert Hoplites or the Desert... Ar I, think it's, I think it's Armored Desert Hoplites. They can hold forever, and the Nabatea and Swordsmen are not bad units. They're really not. I would just really like to be seeing the Frenzy Charge with these Axemen, like this unit right now. If they're going to come in here and fight, Frenzy Charge, pull them in, and get this unit back out. Got Nabatean heavy archers here firing away, flanking shots, fantastic shots. Just absolutely destroying this uh, militia hoplite, probably the light hoplite as well. Absolute damage. Maximum damage. Minimal output. Solid job. They charge in. Oh no, that's another light hoplite. Another night ho light hoplite there from Athens getting into the fight. But here comes a Rakem Palace guard. He's going to make his way forward. The general's still holding over here. Uh, we have Seleucid over here. I guess they wall walked. He's going to round into the archers. I mean, Bowie, I, the, that would t oh, he's rear charging the general. Or well, he's not like really rear charging. He's just attacking the general in the back. Doesn't really seem like that's going to be very conducive to this attack. We got the picked hoplites inside, though. Taking on some Nabataean heavy, uh, Nabataean axe warriors, but guys, these archers right here, I mean, that's a it's a great place. It's a great placement for them. That really just crushed the Athenian attack right here. It really just just destroyed it. There was so many units right. Oh wait a second, Bowie Eyes pulling back. Bowie Eyes pulling away. Oh, he's getting shot. Maybe that's why Cretan archers firing in there. Celtic warriors going to come in, save the day. Thorax immediately losing decisively. This Thorax needs to get over here. It's really unfortunate that they didn't bring the ram up to the fight. That is really unfortunate. Oh, back over here. This is... Oh, this is really falling apart now. Seleucid has no infantry left. What's he got here? Thorax. 133 and a 94th Reos. Seleucid's done. Seleucid is done. Wow. That's craziness. That is craziness. Still have 10 minutes left in this fight? How is that possible? Oh, these are axes? Oh, these aren't axes. These are archers. Oh, never mind. Hold on a second. That changes things a little bit. I thought all three of these were axe warriors. Never mind. Uh, we have a sword follower making his way over here. Another sword follower, but they're both really damaged. 58, 23. Good amount of kills on this one, though. 288. Solid job. Cuts Warriors 147. Got the cavalry for Seleucid now starting to make their way in. This could be a change. This could definitely be something that this could be. This could make this be. This could be a situation. 
if one of those calves heads this direction, they're getting into all that. Hopefully they do. We got the oh, median cavalry coming this direction. I would send the median cav in there. Just go. Just get up there and charge in there. Get those archers. There you go. Median cavalry, get out of diamond. There's no point being in diamond. Keep going, though. Bounce off. Bounce off and keep going. Get these guys, too. Oh, there's the Akima Cav General charging into the back of the Nabateen General. That's big. That is big. But Citizen Cavalry's got to keep moving. Get out of diamond formation, bud. You don't need it anymore. You don't need it anymore. He's getting some kills. 27 kills. Akima Cav General, 29 kills. Going to bounce off. Get into these Celtic Bowmen. There we go. There we go. That's huge. Now, if this Apeus gets in here, that could be a little bit more of a problem as well. Gima Cav still doing pretty good. 103 kills for him. Medin, uh, median Cavalry here, 39 kills. He's starting to lose men, though. He is starting to lose men. The Seleucid General appears to be tangled up with the Rakem Palace Guard, but the Rakem Palace Guard is losing decisively. Stay in there. Stay in there or just count like cycle charge. Oh, no, you got infantry coming over here now. Pull back. Get that General out of there. Wow, that Rakem is getting destroyed. Here comes the Hippias. Oh, boy, this is turning around. This is kind of turning around. Sword followers starting to lose. At least the front section of this settlement. I'll say that way. Nabateen General not looking good. Down to 61 men now. Here comes that Agima Cavalry General again. Going to charge over, get into these archers. Yeah, get them. Just get them. Get out of diamond formation, though, dude. You don't need it. You really don't need it any longer. And I would not have charged those spears. I would have hammered those archers until they were dead. There you go. Very heavy shot, Cav. Charging into these Nabataean heavy archers. Solid charge. Really solid charge. Make sure you keep moving, though. You got to keep moving. Have got to keep moving. Oh, no. Now the general's coming over here. Rakem Palace Guard. Keep moving that general. Come this way. Come around this way. They could easily get away. But the attackers victorious here. They're kind of becoming attack uh, victorious all over the place. They actually know oh, they captured the gatehouse too. Oh boy, guys. Now I know that Bowie I still has an absolute ton of infantry back here. But this front part is looking really solid for the attackers right now. That Seleucid General's gotta get out. Oh no, he's light winning slightly. What's he taking on? The two Nabataean heavy yard. Oh, Spear Warriors coming over here. That Giba Cav's dead. That Agima is going to die now with the Spears joining the fight. 232 kills, though. Uh, I don't see the Median Cav anymore, so I guess they died. But it's got the Hippias Lancer here, too. Not sure what the Hippias is going to go do. The Camp Palace Guard General is down to 37 men, but there goes the Seleucid General. He's wavering. Still seven left in the unit. Oh, Hippias! Huge rear charge onto some Rakem Palace. Nice charge. Really solid rear charge there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, so Lucid General's still there. Kind of. I think the general himself is dead, though. It's not saying he's dead, though. Not yet. Believe the... Na oh, he did get away. The Napatine General was able to run away. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we got five and a half minutes left in the battle now, guys. The Seleucid General is gone. Still have the... the oh, no, the Hippias Lancer General. Stayed in combat way too long with this with Kem Palace. Stayed in combat way, way, way too long. Now, I mean, there's... He could... They could start coming this direction. But they'll have to deal with the Archer Tower. Balance of power looking the way that it is. Uh... I mean, we can't, the attackers can't see those units. See all the, the eyeballs over their heads. He cannot, they don't have any idea any of this is back there. So Nabatea, pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. 133 there, 111 there. The general, 119. So a good amount of kills with the Rakem. Celtic Bowman firing away, getting shots onto the, uh, oh, why are we retreating this way? Why are we coming over here, Seleucid? Does he have any ammo left? Nope, that unit's out. Uh, he's got Cretans in melee. 
We have a slinger right here just actually firing right into the flank. That Rakem Palace guard is getting hammered. And I hear General charging. There you go. The Paris Lancer charging in again. Slingers need to stop. Slingers need to stop firing. That General's in there. Stop firing. Oh, my God. Never mind. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Hippias Lancer. Hey, see, like three or four of those stones came over here and hit the Hippias Lancer General. And he's still getting shot. Oh, nice javelin volley. That was a nice javelin volley. He's going to charge him again. Mm. Now, I don't know if you guys know this about Rakem Palace Guard. I'm going to come over here to the general real quick. I'm just going to show you that right there. Expert charge defense. Charging Rakem Palace Guard in the front is ab there's just no point. There is zero point in charging them. If you see a unit that has that symbol on it, expert charge defense, just don't charge them. Do not charge them. Do not charge them. Especially with cow. Like, just don't. Just don't do it. You'll lose. You will lose. Yeah. The pace lights generally down to 19 men left. Archers still just pouring ammo down. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, Hippias Lancer? Just moving up to the front so you can get shot more? Looks like it. Yeah, that's rough. That is definitely rough. Uh, we got two minutes and 54 seconds left. Balance of power is severely in favor of the defenders. And there goes the Athenian general. All right, we're going to start fast-forwarding here. See if anything else still happens. I mean, Seleucid still has some units here. 65 for the uh, thorax. 72, 32 Thoreo Spears, but neither one of the attacking armies still have their generals, so this is not looking very good for them. They have really depleted units, too. 27, 25, 99, pretty strong, 37, uh, 139, there you go, that's, a, that's actually the strongest unit for the attackers by far. The next closest is the 99 there for Thorax Swordsman. But everything else is really damaged. Slingers, 112 men, but they have 62 kills. I mean, they could fire, maybe try and fire at the sword followers, but with the Celtic Bowmen on the wall there, it's not really very... I'm sorry, Celtic Slingers on the wall. There's Celtic Bowmen there too, but it's not really very much. The attackers, uh, there's not really very much they can do. Now we have Nabataean Heavy Archers over here, though they appear to be out of ammunition. Javelins coming down. Yeah, Celtic Warriors, probably not going to do... The thorax, yeah, the thorax is dead. Thorax is dead. His ballista, though, 83 kills. Not bad. Uh, looks like he's just charging in to break the army up. Yeah, 12 seconds. There you go. He was just charging his stuff in to maybe just break it to get it over with. At least he didn't leave. Looked like he didn't leave. But all right, let's take a look at the armies here. We're going to take a look at Gladja first. He was the one that sent it in, playing his Nabatea. Thank you, bud, for sending it over. Uh, 2,132 kills. Pretty good. 119 with the general, his heavy archers, 155, 141, 199, uh, I'm sorry, 191 and 129, there we go. Axe warriors, 126, 111, 121, 124, 145, 119, 196, there you go, almost 200 kills. And his two other Rakem Palace, 116 and 169, giggity. Then we have Gray Buford playing as Bowie Eye, 1453. Archers didn't really get very many kills. Slingers didn't get very many kills. Celtic Warriors, 180. Pretty good. 92 there for another one. Sword Followers, 105. 158, 105, 139, and 334. But look at how much Bowie Eye had left over. Even I mean, look at the Archer kills, the Slinger kills. Bowie Eye still had a lot left. Full Osworn, full Celtic Warrior, pretty much full another Celtic Warrior. Two more full, three more full units of Sword Followers. That was tough. Spear Warriors there, 105. Didn't see that. Uh, then we have Invisible playing as Seleucid, 1552. If he had waited a little bit, maybe moved up the rest of his army with him as he was moving forward, might have turned a little bit differently. But Invisible anyway, 1552, 249 with the general. Great job there. Uh, his archers, unfortunately, only one unit, 114 kills. The other units, not really very close to 100 kills. Thorax Sergeant, 258, 117, 122. Thoreos, one unit there with 147. And then we have Wolf of Troy playing as Athens, 1924. 142 with his general, so good job with his general there. Uh, his archers, 174, 180. Moving down a little bit further. Picked hoplites, oh, 306 with the picked hoplites, very nice. Thorax Sojourn, 136, 118, 182, 104. So there you go, guys. End of today's battle replay. Uh, don't just go in. Wait for your armies. That's the lesson of today, I guess. 
Wait for your armies. Bring your bring your archers up. Archers definitely help, especially if you're playing a Seleucid, one that has one of arguably one of the best archer units in the game, the Syrian archers. Definitely want to bring them up. Give your give your infantry support. But that is going to be the end here for today. So thank you guys very much. If you did enjoy, feel free. Hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, subscribe to the channel. But that is all for me. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.